Hey, Almond Roca lovers, it is that time of the year where we're making lots of bags of Almond Roca. So I thought I'd just show you a quick little video on how we do this. People always ask me how I make the Almond Roca. So I'm giving you my recipe here and I'm gonna do a little video here. So I'll show you with it how we basically do it. We have butter, sugar, and you put it all in there, it automatically sort of comes out like this. Butter, sugar, we swing over here. We got Hershey's chocolate and almonds. Costco almonds ground up. So we're gonna go through and show you a couple little steps. All right, turn the heat on. I always, I always got the heat sort of figured out here. It's about medium. We take a pound of butter, which is four of those. Two cups of sugar, pre-measured sugar. Boom. Two cups of sugar, two cups of sugar. I wouldn't recommend making two batches at once as a rookie, but once you get the hang of it, I usually do two batches so I can do, get this done a little bit quicker. So we're gonna go ahead and heat it up. All right, so we got this one starting to cook. I'm gonna get it, cook it on about medium heat, not too hot. See, see what that is, there you go. We got two going. So this is just the beginning phases of the process. This one hasn't really heated up yet as much. It's probably going to take about 15, 10, 15, 10 minutes probably. And we don't cook it too fast or too slow. We cook it just right. As far as stirring, I just, I don't stir it constantly, but I, you know, I stir it every so often. Just keep it going. Maybe let it rest for a second. Stir the other one. Sometimes the concoction will, the butter will come out. Then you got to stir it back in. We're waiting for it to get to color about the Trader Joe's paper bag color. That's about what you're looking for. And if you have a candy thermometer, it's about 320 degrees. Anything after that, it really starts to get a little too hot and burns a little bit. So we're gonna show you. This is here at, um, we're at 282, 275, and we got another couple degrees to go. I don't need the thermometer since I've made probably hundreds of these batches. But it's being an engineer sort of fun. All right, you can see it's turning brown. It's almost to the color of a bag. I bet it's about, you know, 306. It should be up to about 310, 315, 320. We're getting close. It's almost caramelized. This other batch here still has a little way to go. Again, I don't recommend doing two at once unless you've done 100. There we go. Almost there. You can sort of see it's, it's darker than the paper bag. You really need to get it, let it get up to that temperature so it caramelizes, but not too much. It's almost there, I can tell. Oops, it is there. Perfect. So, next step. Come over here. Put these on a uh, cookie sheet so it doesn't cool down too much. Spread it out. There you go. Boom. Keep it right there. Then we're going to spread it out here on the cookie sheet. It actually cools really quickly because the, the pan is cool. Boom. It will level out. Next step is we take seven Hershey chocolate bars. This is still piping hot. The chocolate's gonna melt. Then when we're done with this, we're gonna paint brush it all around. And we'll take you through the next step after that. All right, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna actually spread the chocolate around. It's nice and hot. Again, you wanna be careful because that chocolate's still really, the caramel's really hot. Try to get it evenly all around. You make it evenly so nobody feels like they didn't get the chocolate they wanted. Boom. The next step, almonds. Boom. Almond Roca, homemade. 
four ingredients, sugar, butter, chocolate, and almonds. There you go. Now we let that puppy cool. All right, we're down to the final step. We've let it cool down. If you want to cool it down a little bit quicker, you can always throw it in the fridge. But definitely don't put your hot plates onto the glass um, shelves or break. So the final step is you take it, drop it over, drop it in, and then you end up having a big piece of almond roca. There you go. And the final, final step is then you just break it into the sizes that you like it to be. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was helpful. One other thing I would recommend is don't eat a whole bag at once. Um, and share it with your friends. They'll really appreciate it. Merry Christmas and happy holidays.